Now license plate reading cameras are being installed on the Dan Ryan. Drivers tell us it's about time. Shootings, carjackings, and nighttime drag racing. They've had enough. Our Jermont Terry live along the expressway with their concerns. Jermont. Erica, right now I'm riding along the Ryan near 47th Street, and CBS2 has reported and showed you that the Ryan has seen more shootings than any other expressway across the Chicagoland area. And it's not just flying bullets that uh, drivers are concerned about. Let me show you the road right now. Uh, drivers are insisting and raising concerns that there's just as much fuss about what they're calling a never-ending racetrack, especially at night, leaving many to wish that they could avoid the Ryan. When it comes to the Dan Ryan, it's the road many south of the city take to get downtown. So I travel uh, to and from the south suburbs pretty much every day. Yet early walkers daily drive has become a bit more dangerous lately. Absolutely, uh, especially with the uptick in violence as of late. You know, um, I think everybody's paying attention. Everybody's watching the back. Everybody's watching who's driving next to them. Drivers tell me they're seeing too many daredevil moves like this from speeding vehicles. You, know, you got people that are literally driving on expressways like maniacs these days. So the problem with that is that with everything going on, you don't know if they're just driving crazy because they're driving crazy or if they're driving, you know, uh, in the midst of a crime. There's been more than 50 shootings on the Dan Ryan this year. And just this week, two people were shot in two separate incidents. That includes Denise Hugale, killed when a bullet hit her as she rolled in the car after leaving the White Sox game. And Thursday, someone fired three shots, killing the man on the L, which runs along the Ryan. If they miss the person that they're aiming for, it could go out that window and hit somebody on the expressway. So you're not safe one way or another. Lamont Wilson is a native Southsider who's hesitant to hop on the Ryan. On the damn Ryan, I, I rarely see ISP. I hate to say it. Online, people are voicing concerns, writing, time to demand adequate coverage and police presence on the Dan Ryan. Another writes, I was never scared to drive down the Ryan when I worked at Meg's. Now, I never will. But as fear sets in, many drivers know. There's no, no alternative from getting from the south suburb to downtown. And right now, we're still on the outbound lanes of the Ryan. Um, I can tell you one thing, that we know the speed limit is 55 miles per hour, but many of the people that we talk to who are raising concerns saying that they see people doing 80, 90 miles per hour, obviously zigzagging in and out of traffic. And the one thing that they would like to see is more police presence from the Illinois State Police. They're hoping that these cameras that you were talking about will help, but they really want to see more patrols to prevent it from the first place. Reporting live along the Dan Ryan tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News.